Hey friends, welcome back to the channel where we talk about how to boost productivity and build better habits. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to build a resonance calendar inside of Notion. So here we are in Notion, and this is a completely fresh database, brand new, nothing else is in this, so I'm gonna show you guys how to build it completely from scratch. I'm gonna show you how to build a resonance calendar, so that's one database, and the other database is link that database to a, an ideas database. Uh, if you're a content creator or if you like to write, whether it be personally or um, like on a blog, Whatever it is, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So whew, let's get into this. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create uh, a table. So go ahead and make a new page and we can call this Resonance Calendar. Uh, and go ahead, don't click any of these up here. You wanna click Table, the Table button. All right, so uh, these we're gonna delete and start fresh. And uh, the columns is it's really up to you, whatever you wanna make, um, but for this, for the purpose of this, uh, you guys can just kind of follow me. So we're gonna do um, name there, we're gonna do author. And this is going to be uh, select because we want it to be actually, instead of author, we'll do source uh, and we'll do, we'll make that a select. So cool. Uh, and then this will be URL. So this is gonna be the URL uh, to the source, whether it be an article, book, uh, podcast, whatever it is. So we've got the name, source, URL. Uh, let's do some tags. And we're gonna make those multi-select because we're gonna have multiple ones. Name, uh, tags, and then we'll do type. So that'll be just select. Uh, so for the type, we'll do type in like podcast, uh, hit enter. Oh, go ahead and cre hit create there. Delete that article, hit enter, book. Uh, podcast, article, book, video, podcast, article, book. I don't think there's other sources I can think of off the top of my head. Podcast, article, book, video. That's pretty much it. Those are the, the main ones. Um, you could do like an online course or something, but that's a little much. Uh, cool. So we have name, source, URL, tags, type. All right. So that is it. Uh, so we have the name, source. Uh, so that's basically who it is. URL, tags, and type. So uh, we can make this a little bit kind of uh, skinnier there. So that needs to be multi-select perfect. So, the, so, so this is just an example um, of kind of the rest in his calendar. So earlier I listened to uh, Tim Ferriss and, oops, Tim Ferriss and Naval, Naval Ravikant. So source would be, uh, Tim Ferriss. Actually, instead of source, we're gonna name it uh, like person. So Tim Ferriss URL. So now I'm gonna go into Spotify, uh, grab this URL. I don't know if you guys can see this, but grab this, uh, share, copy link, paste that there, and we'll do uh, life advice. Get actually life, uh, just life, um, wealth. So these are some of the concepts that he talks about. Wealth, health, and happiness. Uh, this is a podcast. So now we have kind of a, the basic stuff uh, kind of filled in there. So the column, this column, we're gonna turn it into a relational database. But before we do that, we have to create another one. So we're gonna go to ideas, uh, and you can name this like, Notes, you can name the summary, you can name it whatever you want, but I'm gonna name this ideas because a lot of the times one article or book or part, podcast or whatever can have like a plethora of ideas uh, and I want all of those to be able to, to kind of memorize and keep track of all of those. So I'm gonna name those ideas, uh, delete these columns, cool. And then make this column here into a relational database and select database, uh, just gonna make it to a resonance calendar so now uh, when I have, and this could be, maybe you can do uh, some like more tags here if you want. Actually, instead of doing that, uh, we're gonna make another database. So tags, make a table, delete these, delete, delete those, delete. Uh, and then these are gonna be actually our tags. So like motivation, life, advice uh what else 
life advice, uh, psychology, uh, business. All right, so so those are our tags. So go back into our resonance calendar uh, and make these. So just go ahead and make this a relational database. Uh, select database and then type in tags. Boom, create that relation. So now uh, this kind of helps us keep our tags a little bit more organized. It doesn't look as pretty, but this is uh, like Tim Ferriss, so we can do life advice. Um, so now it's going to be just kind of keep your whole, I mean, depending on how, the, how big this gets, this is going to help it be able to keep a little bit more organized. Um, and you could do the same thing with person two. Um, like if you have a whole database, you could create relational databases to people and to like tie it, just a ton of stuff you could do. But we're, we're going to keep it with the tags specifically because tags are very, uh, repurposed, like very repurposed. So, um, for that, like for that example, if we go into our ideas and make a new idea on um, how not to be rich. So this is just say this is an idea I have. Uh, we're gonna name this uh, Resonance Calendar. And I'm gonna link this to the uh, Tim Ferriss Naval Ravikant. And then tags, make this relational database to the tags database. Oops, uh, tags. Cool. So now, uh, say how not to be rich is, is one, but uh, it's very much like wealthy, right? So, and you can create new tags too uh, inside of here, which you don't have to like go back and forth. So we'll do wealthy, uh, we'll do business too, because that is a, uh, it's business. Cool. So now those are all of our tags. So we have this idea of how not to be rich, uh, which comes from the Tim Ferriss and Naval Ravikant episode. And then our tags are wealthy in business. So say if we have like just 50 items filled out, if we go, we can go to filter, add a filter uh, where tags contains, and then choose. I want to see everything that's uh, like business. Cool. So tags contain business. Uh, and so now that's going to pop up. Now, if we make this, uh, this, so say we make this new idea of, Social science is not actual science. So this kind of is like like evergreen notes, uh, I guess you could say. So we're going to link that again to the Tim Ferriss, Naval Ravikant, uh, but we're not going to make it business tag. And so as soon as we exit out of that, uh, you can see the tag, it goes away. Uh, or that, that entry goes away because it's not it doesn't have anything to do with business. So this is going to be uh, life advice. And this is going to be uh, science. So we'll make that. So now if I go up to the filter, and this is just like any other relational database. So if we go to filter, add a filter where uh, name, oops, sorry, tags contains uh, business, then it's going to sor sort that out. So if your friend comes to you like, hey, what, what are the best business resources you would recommend to me? Well, then you can go in here at that filter group real quick for business and then be, be able to send him a list of 10 or 15, whatever you have in here. So now that we have our resonance calendar uh, built out, we have our ideas built out and our tags built out. This is kind of the structure of our, um, actually we can uh, go ahead and do this random column. Sorry, saw it, OCD. But this is the structure of our resonance calendar. So the really cool thing I'm gonna show you is when you use the Notion Web Clipper um, to capture articles, capture books, podcasts, all these different things from the web. So let me show you how to do that. But to do that, we need to jump over to Chrome. So I'm gonna to switch to Chrome real quick and then we'll jump back into it. All right, so here we are in Chrome uh, and we're just going ahead and Google, uh, just Google Notion Web Clipper, go ahead and enter. And this is a Chrome extension. So click that and then I already have it, but make sure you click uh, add to Chrome. And then if you don't see it already up here, click this uh, kind of puzzle piece and then scroll down and you'll see Notion right here and just click that little pin icon and make sure that's blue and then uh, it'll be pinned. So now if we go into Medium, uh, actually let's go to uh, Farnham Street. So this is uh, an article from Farnham Street, uh, pretty, not super long, but it's like a good length. So this kind of works like Instapaper. So say we wanna read this article, it really resonates with us, we wanna keep it. We can go ahead and press this uh, Notion icon and so this is going to save, this is going to be the title. So insensitivity to base rates and introduction. But before we save this, we want to change where the workspace is we're saving it to. So we're going to drop down to workspace. Uh, Dalton's Notion, that is kind of what I use for these tutorials. So, but, but make sure you choose whatever workspace you use. 
So just go ahead and choose your workspace and then go ahead and add that to uh, your resonance calendar. Boom. And if it doesn't show up, just go ahead and start typing it in. And it'll show up resonance calendar and then hit save page. So now let's go back into Notion and we see insensitivity to base rates has already been uh, saved and the URL has automatically been added into here. So now we can just go ahead in here, type in Farnham Street, hit enter, uh, and we can go hit open. And then that article is already all saved inside of Notion, which is really cool. There's just a random ad in here. Go delete that. Uh, so all of these, it says that they're uh, like quotes, but obviously that's not true. Oh, actually, that is true. So all of these are quotes. Cool. So we have this article in here. Say you're ready to read it. Um, so say you're cruising through this article and this this quote here by Charlie Munger uh, stands out to you. So one of the things you could do is uh, just make it bold and then make it say like underlined. So now you kind of have an easy way to highlight and kind of lead progressively summarize all of your articles uh, that you read inside of Notion. And if bold kind of doesn't stick out to you as much, you can change the text. So change the background. Oh, you can highlight it too. So anything uh, that you like. And it's nice because once you do it once, uh, it kind of just stays up at the top. So you click this and it's last to use uh, yellow background. And it actually is a keyboard shortcut it, I just saw. So it's command shift H. So if I do command shift H, uh, it's gonna highlight that. So that's a way to progressively summarize this. Say you're done with this article, uh, you're ready to kind of move it into your background. You can still add it, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna add a uh, checkbox here. And just gonna drag this to the beginning. Uh, you have to actually make it a checkbox. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and delete. I have like two kind of random entries there. So now, say we're done with this. Uh, so we've we want to read. So cr we're cruising across the internet, uh, two o'clock in the morning, just cruising, and we have all these articles we want to read. We save them to our Notion. The next day, with our cup of coffee in the morning, we're ready to start open. We're ready to read them. Uh, now you just go through and check off all the ones that you've read. So we're going to go ahead and add a view of saying ones that say uh, to read. Actually, instead of to read, we're going to do to process. Uh, and hit create. And then to get the wrap text, just go ahead and wrap cells. Go, so go ahead and hit those buttons. So go ahead and hit those three dots and then do wrap cells. Um, but we want to filter out the ones that uh, don't have the checkbox completed. So... We're going to go ahead and check that checkbox because that we are we've already processed that. Go ahead and add the filter, uh, filter group where checkbox is not checked. Boom. So now uh, when you're ready to kind of sit down and read a bunch of articles, you can go ahead and process these. So we're going to go ahead. Uh, we can just rename this default view here and do all. Just type in all sources or all articles or all stuff that read, I don't know, something something that's just like all. So now when you do that, it shows every single one of your entries. Um, and we can actually sort this to, go ahead and add a sort by uh, name. Uh, we don't wanna do by name, we wanna do by person ascending. So uh, it just looks, actually, why is Tim Ferriss, why is Tim Ferriss coming before Farnham Street descending? Uh, so that is filtering by person or sorting by person descending, which is pretty cool. So, and the really cool thing too, is if you're on iOS, you can just go ahead and pull up an article, press the share button, and then slide over to Notion. And if you don't see it on here, first of all, make sure it's downloaded on your phone. Second of all, go ahead and press the more button and then swipe down and then you'll see it kind of in the suggestions and you can press edit and you can add any one of these suggestions to your favorites. So it'll be up top. So you go ahead and press Notion, choose the workspace, just like we do with the web clipper, and then add that to your resonance calendar database. And it's simple as that. And again, URL saves automatically, super simple. You can do this with podcasts, articles, uh, websites. There's a ton of different things you can use a web clipper for. It's honestly like Instapaper, but all inside your Notion if you prefer to have everything in one spot. So adding those checkboxes helps you see which articles you still have to read, which ones you haven't yet. Uh, and if you really want to, you could add um, maybe like a tag here and uh, do just a single select. And then uh, we can just name the status. And then you could do like to do, press enter, uh, to process, to review, and then like to archive. 
actually just name that archive uh, archive so say this one's done we've we've read it we've processed it we're done just go ahead and press archive and then you can go ahead and add another filter and then filter out all of those different ones so where status is uh, archive. So these are the ones that you, you've, you've already archived. So let's go ahead and go ahead, create a new view with archive. And then you can do the same thing with um, to do's. You can do the same thing with the processes, whatever. So now when you're ready to process them, if you wanna do a little bit more deeper reading, you just change that view with articles to process and then bang, all the articles you still need to read, podcasts you want to listen to, whatever. And yeah, that is how you build a residence calendar in Notion. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and press the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified when I post new videos. And if you enjoyed this video on Notion, why don't you go ahead and check out this video right here where I taught everyone how to build a master book database, basically like your own personal library, which I thought was pretty fun. Or go ahead and check out this video down here. And if you enjoy my content in general and want to support me as a creator, go ahead and subscribe to my weekly newsletter. Every Friday, I send out you a personal newsletter about the best resources in technology, productivity, habits, and just really any interesting articles, books, or podcasts I listen to that week. Seriously, guys, thank you so much for watching. I am blown away by the support of every single person on YouTube. I started this channel in April, and I'm already at almost 2,000 subscribers, which I would not even think would happen in such a quick time period. So thank you to everyone who supports my videos, watches my videos, comments, uh, and shares my videos. It is really, really cool to see. I would love to connect with each and every single one of you guys. So if you want to email me, maybrydalton at gmail.com, say what's up. Let me know you're from YouTube or hit me up on Twitter at Dalton Mabry. Uh, I would love to just say what's up, connect with you guys, and maybe we can jump on a phone call. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, and thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one.